I'm going to talk about history and examination of new glaucoma patient and this talk is actually broken up into two parts. The first part as a history taking. As we know from our medical training, in history taking we go through presenting history, previous ocular history, past medical history, past surgical history, family history, medication, allergies, social history and systems review. And on examination you can see the list of it from visual acuity down to anterior segment, intraocular pressure and the posterior segment of the eye. There are two ways that you can run your glaucoma clinic. In our clinic these days we actually have a glaucoma specialist nurse who go through the history taking. But previously, we actually take the glaucoma history ourselves. Mm. Well, certainly for pro forma, if you know they've been through every question, at least they've actually asked that question. So that, that's why pro forma is very nice to have. Yes, and yes. You, you're also saying that yeah, you, you have to not just take a glaucoma history because people have other diseases. You know, it's, it's not just glaucoma. Uh, it's sometimes not just ophthalmic, it can be systemic as well. So e even though it's a glaucoma clinic, patients don't come with that label on them, they, they come as a whole. And yeah, if you focus too much on just glaucoma, you're bound to miss other things. I think the issue is that even our general colleagues may actually refer them in as glaucoma. Uh, but as a glaucoma specialist, it, you need to think wider than glaucoma. And it, it's almost glaucoma is a diagnosis of exclusion uh, once you've excluded all the other possible causes of the vision loss. That's right. We do actually find a lot of uh, referrals um, for MedRed. And interestingly, from neuroophthalmology clinic as well, when they've scanned the head and they said, well, there's no tumour and onto us, and they refer them as normal tension glaucoma. Mm -hmm. um, but from our point of view, obviously, we have to dig deeper. Some of these people may be due to nutritional causes or toxic neuropathy, which it all comes down to history taking when, uh, when such cases come through. I think there's a problem that as we come, become too subspecialised, you know, it's the saying we know more and more about less and less, and we get very blinkered in our thinking and, and how we diagnose things, and we really have to make a conscious effort not to fall into that trap. You know, so it's, it's all very easy just doing what you do every day automatically uh, in what you've been trained in, but you know, at the end of the day, we're ophthalmologists, we're doctors, we have to treat the patient as a whole. 